the first thing that you'll need to do is find a way to play and store the melody that you're going to be using. There are about a thousand different ways that you could do this and we're going to stick with something relatively simple. So begin by typing N and KS to get the K slider object and we'll use this to play our melody. Um, and for now, we'll just use um, a MIDI playback. So type N again and type make note. And we'll do um, the first argument is the velocity. And the second argument is uh, duration in milliseconds. So um, we'll use the case slider to give us the um, the pitch and. Um, Note, we'll use note out to make some sound just for now. Um, so that's velocity, and we'll just use um, actually just so it loads and for now. Just type that in so we should have some sound. It's a little soft, I'm gonna make it a little louder. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. The next thing we want to do is to find a way to store a melody that we play back. So, to do that, we're gonna use the um, meter object MTR. Um, which allows us to record and sequence messages. We're going to use just one track. And um, um, track and duration play output. So We're going to connect this, you'll see why in a second, so that we can automate the playback. And um, we're going to connect the keyboard into the inlet here to record. Um, this inlet takes various messages. We're going to type them into what's called a U menu. You'll see um, this view menu has a lot of, you can put a number of different options, menu options in the view menu. So we'll put in our menu, we'll put um, stop, play, record, read, and write um, for now. And we will send the text as a message. Now, what we should be able to do is to type record. Stop and then play. So you see it just played back that uh, melody, which I just played, which is excellent. But um, know that if you were to save your patch and close it and reopen it, that melody would not be stored with your patch. There's no way to store that uh, 
content with the meter object um, within the patch. So instead, what you have to do is to write um, a separate file and save it. And now what we can do is we can say load mass read and the file name, I believe it was dot pat. Um, let me just check really quickly. Um, where did I say? Yeah, um, melody test up pat. Okay. So now let's save this file and um, we'll call it sequencing. Okay. So now. I close this file and then I open it. Because it has the load mess, it should automatically play this back.